What's up guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest and today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to link your Namecheap domain to your HostGator hosting. So this is assuming that you have a HostGator plan as well as a Namecheap domain and I'm currently trying to link these two components for a website I'm creating so I decided I might as well screen share it for you guys to see. So hope you guys enjoy this super quick tutorial, it's very easy so enjoy. First of all, you're going to log into your Namecheap account. So I think I'm already logged in right now. Good. So what you're going to do is on HostGator, you should have gotten an email that when, when you sign up for HostGator, you get name server information as well as your cPanel login. So I already have it ready here, but basically you're going to make sure you check your uh, email that you get from HostGator and then copy all that information down your cPanel login and your name server information. So I have it here on a doc. This is an example like the XX1234 is not my actual name server. I didn't want to put it on this video, but I wanted to show you that's what it basically looks like this for name server information. So this is the stuff that you have to get from that HostGator email. So make sure you pull that up. All right, so back to Namecheap. So on Namecheap, go to account and then click domain list. And I have a bunch of domains, but I'm going to go into this one, go down and go to name server. And what you're going to do is do custom DNS. Okay. So you're going to paste your name server information into this custom DNS. Okay, so now you have submitted your HostGator name server information into this custom DNS thing. And then you're going to click the check mark here, save it. And now it should basically be connected. You just need to wait for the DNS server update for around 48 hours to take effect. It sometimes goes faster, but you know, you, you should make sure you wait until then. Um, if you still don't have it linked, you can contact their support team and see what's going on. So that's it. It's very simple. So the reason why you want to do this is you want to make sure that your domain is powered by HostGator because that's where your plan is. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. In the next one, I'm going to teach you guys how to install WordPress to your website so that you can start blogging. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to be notified for my latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.